hello friends now i am going to show you how you can run your first program in android studio so first of all i am going to start android studio it will take some time to load so we need to wait it will load your last project so don't worry about that we are going to start new one but don't worry about this now here start a new Android studio project I keep this name it's okay from here first of all you need to create one folder in any drive then you can select that folder I am going to select this folder now ok now next this is most important but I will tell you later don't worry about that right now next here this keep same just tick mark here this is the minimum API level but don't worry next here empty next and our first activity name is main activity if you want to change then you can change it from here but right now it is not needed finish we are going with default settings now we need to wait it will synchronizing so we need to wait we create new project that's why it takes two to three minutes to synchronize but don't worry about that We have to wait until this whole process and here. Okay, all process done now. Now we can see this is the main activity Java. It is available. Here you can see this is the three folders, but you have to consider this first folder and here this main activity folder. And in RES folder inside layout, we can see this ATT main.xml basically i am going to teach you what is the exactly meaning of this you can see this is for designing purpose it this main.xml this is for designing purpose and by default here we have text to you uh, if i give you example like asp.net then you can see this is the asps page and this is known as c sharp page it means this is the one kind of front end and this is the one kind of back end so here we can do uh, some kind of uh, designing if you want to type text words it is known as one kind of text to you edit text all controls like drop down that you have to take here so this is for designing and this is for coding okay so right now you can see in design uh, if your computer have good memory good ram good speed good processor and especially you need ssd hard disk to load this design view if your design view is not loaded then don't worry about that then we can go directly right here in text view here uh, in net studio I am going to explain you step by step everything what is the meaning of this manifest what is the meaning of this drawable folder what is the meaning of this values folder but right now you don't need to be confused that's why I am not going to explain you that 
right now most important is this java file and this layout file so here first of all i am going to give id android id id t1 so i give just id t1 here now here this is known a one, one kind of page load event so here we need to take we need to create object so our control is text to you control text to you t1 then text to you then find view by id r dot id we take id t1 so we need to take here t1 so we create this object if i write here ami then now next process i have to do using this ami because we created Amit is the object of T1. Amit dot set text. But we are not going to use name Amit. We are going to use proper name. That's why I am going to use here T1. Now T1 dot set text and here you can write anything. This is my first program. Okay. I just do control S. Now this is for run so when i am going to run it will ask in which device you have to run uh, you can run two way one is using this virtual device you can uh, create your virtual device i press this create new virtual device and you can create one virtual device. select any model then next 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 finish so you can get this device here but it takes lots of memory load so best thing is you have to run on your phone so to run your phone you to activate developer option like how to activate developer option in mi a1 whatever whatever you have on like Lenovo, like oppo you have to uh, write your model name so your developer option you can see and you have to activate developer option and then you have to make usb debugging one but if you are a samsung user then you have very good news and that is for samsung user there is one software named site synchronize you have to download for desktop and you have to download the same software in your mobile then directly your phone you can get here i am going to show you now i am going to connect my phone using usb cable so i just attach usb cable at my phone now I open that software in my phone and here also I open this software so you can see I got my phone here and you can see when you are going to enable your developer option I will show you in setting You can see my developer option is right now available if you find for your phone definitely will get it inside developer option you have to enable this usb debugging then you will get your phone name here now after getting your phone here after getting your phone here you have to just click ok And if you are getting this type of message, then you have to do proceed without instant run. And now we need to wait here for run our first program. Here you can see the little build running. It means it will start a compiling. We are going to run first time, so it will take time.
when you are getting message installing your pk app it means right now we have no error in our program and in few moments you are getting your app in your phone we can see we got here this is my first program which we wrote here now uh, if you want to change something like this is my second program then change it save it and if you are going to run same activity second time then you can directly click on this so it will run fast We can see we got message installing your PK. And we got here. This is my second program. So this way we can run your first program in Android. I hope you like this video. Please like it and share it maximum. Thank you so much, Adrian.